Hi friends, it's Liz here. Welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me today. If you are new, welcome and thank you for stopping by. Um, I wanted to just quickly come and show you the flip through of the paper bag journal, the full flip through of it right now. And then I'm going to show you the basics of how I put it together. Many of you wanted to see how this was done, so I thought I would show you quickly um, how I did it. Uh, so to get started, um, I'm using a lot of uh, digitals from Digital Collage Club. And if you're interested in any of their digitals, I have a discount code in the description box below for you as well. So for the cover, I did use one of their digitals. I'll try and put the names of the digitals I've used on the screen so I don't have to keep um, repeating everything. However, if you have any questions about anything you see, definitely ask and I will get back to you. So as I said, I did that for the cover. I, I I mentioned in my last video where I did a sneak peek of this. I'm trying to decide what to do with the cover. Um, what else I may need to add? I haven't quite decided yet. Um, the back here is actually my printables that I used for the back. And um, of course I added some lace um, to the spine. So we open it up and this is from the their collection as well i believe these are supposed to be coaster sized and i just kind of shrunk them this is also a polka dot pattern from their collection and then here i just did a little bit of embossing on this pink paper on this side we have more of their collection their paper collection i added a little gingham bow here to the pocket um, a little tiffany and co stamp and then this little envelope. Um, some of the pieces also came from your creative studio. And I do have a video showing you that, um, which I will link below. So here I have the first pocket for this paper bag journal. Now, if you are new to my channel, um, I just wanted to let you know that I have a lot of videos showing you different tutorials on how I work with paper bags, different projects, different journals. I will link some of those below if you're interested in checking any of those out. So again, this is from their paper collection and I just added a piece as a journaling spot on the front pocket. Added some pom-pom trim. And then here I made two um, little pocket areas. The background paper here is from my own uh, digital collection, which is vintage French um, wallpaper. Um, here I made another little pocket and this pocket is like an additional little tuck spot from the one in the back. And this again is using the, um, the Digital Collage Club collection. Um, on this little piece here, I added some vellum. This is uh, handmade paper. I added a little bow there. And then this again is from their collection. I love all their tea themes and um, dessert themed ephemera that they have. It's really, really nice a tuck spot i added some floral trim here to this pocket this is another large pocket as you can see and then i just added a little file folder here that is tea themed uh, i think that one is um, my porch prints um, I, if anything else i've used i will link that in the description box below so again this is from their collection i really like this little journaling card uh, and then I have also some papers from the Your Creative Studio box. This is also from Digital Collage Club. And then here I just made another pocket and a tuck spot. This is their paper collection as well. This is from theirs. And then this is from my Vintage Photos collection. Um, and that is in my Kofi shop, which I will link below. I added a little trim here. And this side, the same thing. We've got more ephemera. This is also from their collection. This little tag says, it's always time for tea. And then here I just made a, a little tuck spot on the top. A little trim. This here came from a previous project that I made. I embossed this um, little piece. I kind of tore it up to give it a, a little design here. And then I used some die cuts that have that little teacup and I thought that was like a perfect addition to this. Um, on this side I made another little tuck spot. This is from their collection and so is this lovely background paper. 
And then this uh, faux envelope I made with my own printables. These are uh, in my shop. And then this is from the, I think it's the most recent um, Digital Collage Club. Um, it's like uh, vintage uh, receipts, I think. That's the name of it. Um, here, another little tuck spot and one of their tags. These uh, papers are also from my collection. And my, my digital collection, I should say. And then on this side, I added another one of their printables, another journaling card. This is from their printable as well. And then I just made a little pocket here with a little silk flower and some trim. And that's just from my stash. And then on this side, another one of their collections. And I made another little tuck spot with the embossing paper or embossed paper. What did I put in here? Oh, yes. Yeah, so I made this a uh, little while back. This is from also the Digital Collage Club printables. I think it's like cupcake toppers or something like that. But I made this to be like a, um, a bag topper. So when you're closing your bag, you have something nice to look at the top. So I really like how these came out. And I use these a lot, actually. They're really, really fun to use. This side is their paper collection and another one of the journaling cards. And that's from my stash. And then again from my paper, digital paper collection. That's another journaling card. And then I made another little tuck spot on this side and did a little stamping. So you can see it has a lot of space to add more ephemera. You can add photos. You can, you know, just do so much with this. And I really like how it came out. But also I love, like I said before, the paper sounds of the paper bags. Okay, let me show you just quickly how you can easily put one together. So these are your, um, for me, it's just my regular paper bags that I get at the dollar store. Um, I don't know the sizes that you have, but these are the ones that I'm using. And it really doesn't matter because it's all about the folding. Now, I have seen a lot of people cut off this end. They don't like that open end on the bag, but I leave them on because that just gives me more paper real estate. Okay, so all I do is I take my bags, I fold them in half. Okay, and I'm using four for this project. So you'll be folding your four bags in half. Okay, and then we just start um, adding them as if we are adding a, um, as if we're putting like a journal signature together. And we're just staggering the opening of the bags. So I made my little paper bag signature. The front one has the opening. This is the back of the next bag. This is the front of the next bag. And this is the back of the next bag. Okay, so I'm just using four here because that's what I use for mine. And the next thing you would do is you would I either cover it with whatever paper you've decided to cover it with. Um, in particular, when you get to these ones that have the bottom of the paper bag, this is where you would need to add your paper before you glue it down or else it'll be more difficult to kind of cover this up. Okay, so what I would what I've done is here is I've added my paper underneath it, glued a little bit on this bottom, and then this gives me that tuck spot. So I'll show you where that is right here. Okay, so I've added my paper to the back, glued the bottom, and now I've got my tuck spot right up here. And then for the top here, I covered it with a little extra paper, but I left an opening. And this gives me like a, I should put it this way. This gives me an extra little tuck spot at the top. And then I have my little tuck spot here at the bottom. Right, so you've got one pocket and then depending how you cover the top, you would get two. And so you just sort of go through and do the same to the rest of your bags. Now you can keep adding more bags. I just did four. For this one you could keep adding more for sure i thought i would just quickly show you what i mean about adding the paper to your paper bag so this is how i would be gluing it onto the bag to give me you know sort of the coverage for both sides so i'll be adding that to it 
And then I'll show you how we add that little pocket on the top of it, as I mentioned. So I've gone ahead and glued my paper here to the center of my paper bag. And then this section is what I meant uh, about adding the additional pocket to that. So, and, and also when you're gluing your page on this side, make sure you're not gluing it shot, like closing it up when you're gluing your page to the open end of the paper bag. So I'm taking another little piece here, gluing three sides only so that I have the additional little tuck spot on the top making sure that it's all nicely glued down. And then this makes this really lovely, uh, you know, kind of second tuck spot to this. You could add more to the top of it, of course, um, but I thought I would show you that. And then of course I'd go ahead and cover the rest of it. Now you could leave this flap totally open, but I like the idea of making it a little tuck spot so that, you know, a little piece tucks in there. Since it is the bottom of the paper bag, it's it's not really deep, but it's um, nice enough. Uh, it's short enough at the bottom that you can make it a little tuck spot and then use up that little bottom of your paper bag. So there you have it. This is how I would go about decorating the bags, making sure I add my additional little pockets wherever I would want it, and then continue to decorate my pages, uh, you know, before I bind everything down. I find that sometimes that's a little bit easier than, um, you know, kind of adding your paper afterwards uh, because it gives you a more finished look and you sort of had the time to think about what you want to do to each page before you attach them together. So uh, yeah, I just want to show that. And now let's talk about binding. Um, the best way I found to bind it for um, any quick job is to staple them if you don't want to stitch them. You could also punch two holes on either side and then just use string to bind them together. Okay, that's another way to do it. And then of course the three hole pamphlet stitch, which I do have a tutorial on my channel showing you how to do that. And I will link that below. It's also with another paper bag. I made a mini journal with that. So I show you how to do the three hole pamphlet stitch. But truly the glue, the um, stitching together is up to you. Easy binding is also another idea where you would just take a string. I don't really think I have a large enough one to show you, but you would just grab um, a ribbon or string that you have and then just sort of, you know, tie that together. And then you would have your papers that are bound. But I did find that, um, you know, stitching them in is nice if you like to stitch. Um, but if you don't, you could certainly just do it with your um, staple and staple them closed. So that's it. You go about decorating your pages. And then you're left with this beautiful ephemera holder. I will be making more. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to start with maybe a Tim Holtz themed one and maybe a shabby chic one as well. So if you want to see me add all the papers and all the tucks and everything, let me know and I will film that process. But if not, I just wanted to do this so you could get started and start making your own little paper bag journal. I just, like I said, for me, it's more about the sound and then just the time that it takes to decorate each page. It's just so relaxing to me and I really love it. So I hope you find some time to get creative today, my friends. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell and check out my tutorials for more paper bag ideas. Thanks so much for stopping by.